Now, how about when we go to GitHub slash some username, we have it route us to a new component. Let's make a new component. I'll call it GitHub user. GitHub capital U user dot JS. I'll import React and component from React. I'll say class GitHub user extends component. Don't forget to export default GitHub user. Give it a render method, return some JSX. Let's import that in github.js. Import github user from github user. And let's add a route. So inside github.js, let's add a route to github user. So under my form, let's add a route. Uh, I haven't imported route yet though. So up here, let's make sure I import route from React router DOM. Let's make a new route. This time the path is slash GitHub slash colon user name. Get what I'm doing here? So that's a param. The colon means that thing is a param. So basically a variable. It could be slash github slash anything. And the cool thing is that my param will be set to whatever value was there in the URL. And we'll make this route us to our new component, github user. And I'll just I'll just uh, put hi in here for now, and let's see what happens. Okay, it says hi. Let's look at it. GitHub user, there it is. Now I'm getting history, location, and match automatically. They're passed in by React Router. Match is where I will find params. So there's match, params, username, dpalaz right here out of the URL. Type something else in there, destruce. Now on GitHub user, match params username destruce. So let's see if I can, uh, see if I can use this somehow. Hi, comma, uh, comma what? How can I get that? Go ahead. This dot props. So that gets me my props. I shouldn't have done that. Oops. Let's pretend I didn't hit save. Okay. This dot props will get me props. So which prop? match, right? So this dot props dot match dot params dot username. So that's a lot, but there we go. Hi, D. Struce. So I could just change the URL here. Uh, Noah, you got an easy GitHub username. 
Heckin' in a... Heckin' a... Hi, Heckin' a... Yeah. It just gets it right out of the URL. This.props.match.params. That's a lot of dots to get to the dang params, but at least you can get to them. So you can get dynamic data right out of the URL doing this. And that's possible because of the colon here in the path on that route. So put a colon inside the path on a route, and that becomes a param. And then in the component that you route to, you can get it through this.props.match.params. So here's my GitHub user component so far. There in Slack. And here's github.js, the way that I changed it. With this new route. Cool. So add GitHub user component and route with param. And remember, you can always check these things out in the React Dev Tools. Don't forget that those are there. So if you forget which, which uh, prop that is, just go poking around. You'll find it. And you can see what else is possible with these. History has all kinds of stuff in it. It does not have a pop. It just has a push. That's right. All right, cool.